Windows 8 laptops comes in various form factors today, from touch-enabled laptops to detachable devices. Still, there is no perfect form factor that fully benefits the use of the touch-optimized operating system. I'm Warren from KL Gadget Guy. This is the full review of the ASUS Tai Chi. The retail packaging of the Tai Chi looks like a box of chocolates or cosmetics. ASUS includes a nice slip pouch, 3-pin UK charger with a built-in adapter, and external adapters for VGA and LAN connectivity. We specifically like the charger as it is as portable as a smartphone wall charger. Our review unit here comes with a configuration of an Intel Core i5-3317U 1.7GHz dual-core CPU, 4GB of RAM, and 256GB of flash storage, Wi-Fi BGN dual band, and Bluetooth 4.0. The Tai Chi features Corning Gorilla Glass on the external display and makes it camouflage like a tablet until you realize that you can lift up the lid to review a standard keyboard and touchpad. The Tai Chi consists of two Full HD displays. The laptop modes display is a non-touch matte type display, while the tablet modes display is a 10-point multi-touch display. The touchscreen is sadly a fingerprint magnet. The Tai Chi weighs at 1.25 kilograms and shares the very same design language as the Zenbook. We love carrying the Tai Chi along with us as our coffee table laptop and multimedia consumption tablet. Though with such a thin and compact form factor, Asus managed to include two USB 3.0 ports, a 3.5mm headphone jack, one micro HDMI port, and one mini VGA port. There's no card reader on the Tai Chi, which we hope we can have it by sacrificing the mini VGA port. Typing on the keyboard of the Tai Chi is a pleasure. The LED light of the keyboard lights up automatically when you are in low light. The huge touchpad is also one of the best that we have experienced on a Windows laptop, as it is sensitive and we are able to do Windows 8 gestures on it without any issues. Our review unit comes preloaded with Windows 8 single language and has been upgraded to Windows 8.1. Windows 8.1 is stable with existing hardware drivers and we have no issues running most of our installed applications as well. However, we still recommend upgrading to compatible Windows 8.1 drivers once ASUS releases them. Multimedia consumption is good on the Tai Chi. Both laptop and tablet displays show good color reproduction and viewing angles. The Bang & Olufsen speakers located at the bottom left and right of the Tai Chi produces good room volume and bass thanks to Waves Max audio enhancement. The dual array noise cancellation microphone also does a good job in eliminating background one, two, noise when we try three, some voice four, calls over Skype. Six, seven, As the Tai Chi's dual screen is utilizing the multiple display feature on Windows, you'll be inclined to think that you can use it for a presentation, but we don't enjoy doing that. In order to allow our audience see the external display better, we need to tilt the display back a little to our side, which means we aren't able to view our presentation as enjoyable as our audience. It's ironic and awkward and we believe ASUS could have resolved this by making the Tai Chi higher. Furthermore, using the Tai Chi in tablet mode is also a painful experience if you lay it flat on the table. You'll be forced to hold the Tai Chi to have a better viewing experience. We suggest to place the tablet in a standing mode if possible. Performance on the Tai Chi is decent. Starting up takes less than 10 seconds and executing applications is smooth, just like what you would expect on a Windows 8.1 laptop. Battery life on the Tai Chi isn't the best that we have seen on Ultrabooks, with 3% off wear level, running on laptop mode, 60% brightness, and running on ASUS Power 4 Gear Power Saving mode. The Tai Chi lasted for 3 hours and 45 minutes on continuous web surfing and word processing. The wear level should also translate to around 4 hours and 15 minutes of usage on a new battery. Watching a full HD movie on laptop mode lasts an hour and a half, which means we aren't able to enjoy the Kaiju exterminating part in Pacific Rim. Additionally, we are happy to report that the Tai Chi is extremely cool while using it, as the cooling vent is designed to be out of our hands reach. Overall, we love and enjoy using the ASUS Tai Chi. Just like the product name suggests, it is lightweight yet powerful. Though the dual display concept may be new, we still find it very useful on many occasions where we could switch the device between laptop and tablet mode by either closing or lifting up the screen. The Tai Chi 21 is available for purchase at a retail price of 4,599 ringgit, which is pretty steep. To buy or not to buy, it really depends whether you like the concept of the Tai Chi, or else we would suggest looking at other options for such hardware configuration. We rate the ASUS Tai Chi at 4 out of 5 stars for its gorgeous product design 
and hardware performance. That's it for today people, thank you very much for watching this video. If you like what you saw, give us a thumbs up and leave comments down below if you have any questions on the Asus IG. Also subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Twitter and Facebook at KL Gadget Guide. We'll see you next time on our next gadget review and remember people, check out our full text review of the Asus Tai Chi at klgadgetguide.com. That's it for now.